Hello, and welcome to the video tutorial on creating custom interfaces for Painter. Creating custom workspaces in Corel Painter is a powerful feature that not many folks are aware of. But by taking just a few minutes to set one up, you can save a lot of time later and streamline your workflow. Custom workspaces allow you to keep your most commonly used brushes, menu commands, patterns, and textures where you can access them the easiest. And yes, you can even tell Painter where you want your custom palettes to appear. For an academic situation, avoid taking up class time getting your students' interfaces to look and act similar. Instead, hand them a thumb drive or push the file to the class through your network. Limit your students to only those tools being taught by limiting access to certain brushes, libraries, and portfolios. At work, create an interface that you are comfortable with, then send it via email to any other location where you'll be working with Painter, or switch back and forth between interfaces for specific projects. And they're really easy to create. Let me show you. Let's start with creating a palette of favorite brushes. I'm first going to go to the pencils and grab Painter's new Real 6B Soft Pencil. Now watch closely or you're going to miss this, just how easy it is. There you go. The new real pencils actually allow you to tilt the pencil on its side so you can actually use it to shade, which I think is pretty cool. And the real chalks work the same way. Let's grab that down here. Then I'll get the real variable with pen, another new one in Painter 11. This one's actually pretty cool. It actually takes advantage of speed, as you can see there, which is great. And I think I'll drop in an artist brush as well. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to create a custom palette. Now, although the brushes aren't ex explicitly labeled, the icon gives a good idea of what it is, and a short pause over the icon will bring up the brush's name. To delete a brush, simply hold down the Shift key and drag it out. To rename your palette, simply go to Window, Custom Palette, Organizer. Select it, hit Rename. And that's all there is to that there. And also, here is where you can export the custom palette and then share it amongst your students or coworkers. So if someone asks me to take over a project where they use specific brushes at specific sizes, I can continue on that project with the same brush settings by importing their custom palette. Also in Window Custom Palette, I can create a custom palette of menu items. For instance, say I want to create some auto painting tools that are more accessible. So I'm going to simply choose the menu items that I'm going to be working with. And we'll add them to new. I can add them to the custom palette down here as well, but let's go ahead and make a different one. And let's go ahead and name that. And we'll just keep adding additional menu items. You need to make sure that you're going to add it to the palette you want. Otherwise, you'll just keep making new ones. And we'll get one more. Great. Okay, now this is actually where I would like all my palettes to be placed. Now what I want to do is I've gotten everything exactly where I want it. I'm going to save this layout. Go to Window, Arrange Palettes, Save Layout. There we go. Now there's one last thing I want to do before I save and export my custom workspace. I'm going to be teaching a class about famous painters such as Claude Monet, Van Gogh, and Seurat. I want to let my students experiment using their techniques, and Painter has these brushes in it already. But afterwards, I want them to try it on their own and not be able to cheat. Therefore, I'm going to turn them off. To do this, I go to Window, Workspace, Customize Workspace. I'm going to expand the Brushes category, select the Painter Brushes category, and just hide the Artist Brushes. 
And while I'm here, let's just use the export workspace command that's located here. Let's do that. Now, after I've done this, I'm going to return my interface to the default by restarting Painter and holding down the Shift key. Hit Current Workspace. And we're back to where we started. Now, to import the workspace I just created for myself, simply go to Window, Workspace, Import Workspace. And that is all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and saw how easy it was to create a custom work environment for yourself in Painter. We'll see you next time.